Hey guys, welcome back to my next art journal process video. So I'm just straight away going ahead and putting some gesso on the page um, just to prepare the page for painting. Um, this page that I'm going to do today was inspired by something that my three-year-old said um, that I thought was cute. So that was the idea for the page. I didn't really know exactly where I was going to go with it but um, I had a couple of ideas that I wanted to try. So I'm just um, let that dry and now I'm taking some stamps and I'm just going to add some um, stamping to the background to get me started um, on the page. So I'm using my stays on ink because I also want to use paints and I don't want it to run. And I'm just doing some stamping. So I quickly realized that um, it's better to use the stamp without an acrylic uh, acrylic block because otherwise all those like lumps and bumps underneath the page um, make your stamp really patchy. Which is fine, it doesn't really matter, but um, just to get a better impression it's better to use the stamp without a block. So I'm just adding some the same stamp all around the page in random places and then I am going to I think I'm gonna go ahead and start painting straight away so yeah so I'm taking some black and blue paint and I'm just gonna make a watery I'm using acrylic acrylic paint so I'm just going to make it quite watery um, because I don't want it to be opaque because I want to be able to see those um, stamped images underneath so it's just kind of like a wash and I'm just adding more and more water as I go if if I think it's looking too thick just add some water to thin it out Now I'm just doing a bit of splattering with water, um, just having a play really with the paints, um, seeing what patterns I can get to happen. And then I'm impatient so I'm taking my heat tool to try and speed up the drying process a little bit. And then I end up holding the page up so that the, um, those droplets kind of run, <clears throat> run down the page. Um, to give that cool effect. And then I allowed it to dry and those little water droplets that were taking forever I just went in with my um, like a paper towel and just um, blotted them off because I was too impatient um, to wait for them to dry properly. Now I'm starting to pull out some things to use on the page. So this is just a little 6x6 six six pad. And then I have um, these space themed pages I've been saving um, with my son in mind. So um, I'm just kind of going through and choosing which ones I want to use on the page or trying to narrow it down a little bit. And now I'm just starting to tear up that starry paper because I don't know, I don't really know exactly what I want to do with it. And I, I don't want the edges of it to look um, perfect and sharp. I want it to be a bit soft. So um, I do cut a couple of strips because I'm not sure yet which, which type I'm going to want to use. If I want them to be perfect strips or if I want them to be a bit torn and soft. And I end up going with the the softer little scraps and then I'm just using some PVA glue to stick those down on the page again I did do this page 
uh, late at night and so I'm sorry the lighting is not very good but um, sometimes that's the only time I have to really work in my art journal. Now I'm just going back to the book pages and I'm just going to sort through them again, try and pick out just a couple of the images because as you see I have quite a few pages and I don't need that many for this page. So I end up choosing the big moon image and um, just a couple of other ones to use. So I'm setting um, the page aside to dry and then I'm going to um, start cutting out those images. So I'm just cutting out um, a couple of the images that stood out to me the most and then um, I think I end up narrowing it down even more because um, it's just too many. I did want to use that big satin on the back but when I flipped it over I saw the smaller one and I thought that was better because it was going to take up less of the page. So now I have my images ready to go, I'm just going to start sticking them down I think. Um, I'm just laying them out to see roughly where I want to put them and um, where they're going to fit. Oh, and <laughs> I'm just showing you that I have my baby in one arm, so I'm going to be working one-armed or one-handed while I glue these down because he woke up and I couldn't get him to go back to sleep, so um, for a little bit I've only got one hand and I was too impatient to wait, so I'm gluing with one hand. It was kind of hard, but we did it. So again, I'm using PVA glue to um, glue down all those images and um, just trimming them down so that they don't take up too much of the page because I know that I've got that quote that I want to put on the page and I need to leave room somewhere for that as well. So again, still gluing one-handed, which was a struggle. And that's why I'm going out of frame as well because I was standing up um, because otherwise my son would have been grabbing literally anything he could have got his hands on he would have been grabbing off my table so I'm just making sure all my edges are stuck down nicely or fairly nicely so they're not going to be coming up and um, just sticking the last couple of pieces onto the page. So I wasn't sure where, I really wanted to put that picture on the page somewhere but it took up so much space so I ended up ripping it in half and just kind of overlapping it there on the page so that I could fit it on. I didn't want to cover up all that stamping. I was happy to cover some but I did want to, I did want some of it to show through so that's why I put it there rather than along the bottom. Now I'm uh, mixing up some more paint so just a darker colour. It is a acrylic paint and it is watered down again and I'm still working one handed because I still have my son in my other arm <laughs> so um, that's all I'm doing here. Um, I think I add some black or like a dark almost black around the edges I wanted it to 
um, at first I was using a, a washy colour and then I wanted it to be thicker so I added some more black with less water. And I'm just going around the edges of the page and around the edges of those images to soften it up. And um, I don't want to cover all of that blue that I did uh, at, the, at the beginning. And yes, I'm still working one-handed, so kind of difficult. But um, after I finish painting, I do, I think I do let the page dry and go and get my son back to sleep so that I can have both my hands free to finish the page. Just doing some splattering. I think I attempt to do... I had some gesso left on my paintbrush and I was trying, I was thinking I wonder if I can get the gesso to splatter but no, it's much too thick. As you can see there, I just got a big dollop on the page. I tried to add water and get that to work but it didn't, it didn't really want to splatter too much. So I ended up taking that dollop of gesso and just using that to be where I was going to pop the quote later, um, like a little journaling space. So it worked out okay even though that was um, unintentional. And now I'm just taking some shimmer spritz um, spray. I'm just spritzing the page to make it shiny and shimmery like stars or like a galaxy. And I do put, I do put quite a, a lot of that on the page. Now I'm taking a yucky old sponge and I'm just dabbing over the gesso because I didn't like the paintbrush texture lines in it. I wanted to soften it up a little bit. And I'm trying to add some white dots but I don't think that worked either. The page was just much too wet. Okay so now I've come back and let that dry and that flicking is my lamp because I'm trying to see <laughs> what lighting is better with the lamp or without the lamp. I think I leave it on so hopefully you can see okay what I'm doing but the page is dry now and so I'm just going to start adding some details and stuff so just showing you how it's looking so far up close I must have gone to get something okay so I've gone to get some rub-ons I knew I had some white rub-ons in this folder and I, I thought that they would look really cool on the page um, because they would contrast so well but I end up having some trouble with them um, I think um, the shimmer spray or something that I used on the page was just too glossy and so the rub-ons didn't work on here and so you'll see me um, fussing around with that for a while trying to get them to work I thought that maybe the rub-ons had gone bad because I peeled it too fast there and so some of the word was lost um, that was my own mistake I think but at first I was thinking that the rub-ons had gone bad so I do have a play around with them for a while to try and get them to work um, and they kind of end up working some of them but mostly it didn't really work so I probably won't try that again um, wherever the the patchiness happened with the rub-ons, I later go in with a white pen and try and fix up um, like the holes in the word. So I know I want to use some of these stars as well, so I'm just cutting them out. Um, and then because I think that the rub-ons have gone bad, I'm thinking, oh, what the heck, I'll just use all of them or most of them, but um, you're going to see that they don't work on the page. Which is a shame because I I think they would have looked really cute. I'm I'm trying really hard here to like scratch them on really firmly, and they just do not want to stick to this page. So I do kind of give up. Um, some of these stars I get to work all right, but they're still a little bit patchy. Um, but as I said, I'll go in later and fix them up. I'm trying to use my heat tool here because I'm thinking that they've gone bad. I'm thinking, I wonder if I make them, if I like warm them up, if they'll um, 
if they'll lift off a little bit easier. I don't think that really had any effect on them at all, but it was worth a, sh worth a shot, so. Just rubbing the heck out of them to try and get them to stay on the page, but um, wasn't very successful. Alright, so now I'm going to take my white pen and I am going to go in and add some um, some stars, some dots and try and fix up those rub-ons that failed so miserably. Um, so I'm adding some little circles, some little dots just randomly all around the page. I want them to look like stars. Um, but I'm just having fun with it, so I'm just doing it wherever I feel like it and um, trying to draw just a couple of extra little stars as well. So I sped that up because it took me a while, um, but I just went around and did that pretty much all over the whole page, just around... Um, everywhere except for where I'm going to put the quote basically and then down the bottom where that rub on didn't work I went in and fixed that word up so that you could read it properly so it's golden and um, now I'm taking some blue Inca gold and I'm going to add that as well just randomly around the page because I think it makes it look more like a galaxy um, it adds a really cool metallic effect as well, so I'm just having some fun with that. It's kind of hard to know when to stop with the Inca Gold because it's just so much fun to apply, so I'm kind of going crazy with it, but I really like how it turned out. I'm not sure what I do next. I think I'm just cleaning up my hands because they were getting a bit grubby. Oh, now I'm taking my black Sharpie. And I'm gonna um, just do a little bit of uh, drawing, just adding some details So again. So some stars and um, I'm not sure if I do anything else, but I'm just kind of trying to go around the stars on that paper that I first stuck down because they were getting a little bit lost. And again, I was having trouble with the Sharpie on top of the paper because um, it was so glossy, so it was hard to get the pen to work. And now I'm playing around with this doily because I know I want to put it on the page somewhere. And I'm just trying to lay out where I'm going to put it. Um, I liked it over the moon because I just liked the way it looked. But I knew that the quote I had was kind of long-ish and I... Um, I thought I'd better leave that moon space for the quote so I don't end up sticking it down there, even though I do like the way it looks. I'm just using my glue stick to glue that doily down the bottom. And then taking um, the white pen and doing a little bit of drawing around the edge of the doily. So it was kind of hard to get the pen to work again over that glossy paper, but the white definitely worked better than the, um, the black Sharpie.
then just putting some circles in between those little drop like little droplet drawings on the doily I really like how that turned out it kind of um, like meshed the doily in with the background a little bit more um, like blended it together so it wasn't just like slapped onto the page and now I'm going to start adding the quote I think so I'm taking my micron pen and I um, I'm gonna try and write it again I do have trouble getting the, the pen to write over everything that I'd put down on the page so I don't know if it was just the micron pen or because of the background no matter what pen I used I would have had the same problem I'm not sure um, but it takes me a while to do this so I do speed it up and you'll start to see the quote uh, which was quite cute um, and the inspiration for the whole page So it says, but when I grow up, I will be as tall as a grown up and, 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 and big enough to build a rocket and blast off to the moon. So it was just so cute. Something that he said, um, and he did say, and four times, cause he's got a bit of a stutter at the moment. And I just thought that, 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 that made it so much cuter. So I kept it exactly as he said it. Um, so I'm just going in over that writing so that you can read it and um, using the the text star to add the quotation marks because the pen was so difficult to get to work over it so just dating or um, quoting who said it and how old he was when he said it and I don't know if I really do anything else to the page after this so um, kind of going to wait and watch myself and see if I do um, so I'm using the white pen again to go around the moon okay so these are a couple of other rub-ons I had that I wanted to add to the page as well these ones oh, I did have a little bit of trouble getting them to stay on the page but not as much as the white ones so I think I just add a couple of these around the place um, I just liked that the colours matched that paper that I first put down. So there's like a mint and an orange and a pink like little circle that I add. And I think that's all I do to the page. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. And I'll be back again with some more. See you next time.